What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to edit your footage from your camera on your cell phone. This has the potential to get kind of long, so let's get right into it. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna need is the camera that you're gonna shoot on, and then the phone that you're gonna edit on. You're also gonna need a way to transfer the media. With Android, it might be a little bit different. I'm only familiar with iPhone. With iPhones, you have to use this little dongle, but you are gonna have to have some way to get your footage from your SD card over to your phone. Okay, now that you've got your camera set up, you got your phone that you're gonna edit on, the app that I like to use the most is called Splice. And even though the free version lacks some features that the paid version has, it's still a good app and you can create some nice videos just with the free version. Now that you've got everything set up and ready to go, it's time to transfer your media. On iPhone, you just have to search and then find the files and then find the camera inside of there and then look for the individual video recordings that you want to transfer and then just click save and it'll save into your photos. Now, once you've got your footage, put inside of the editor, the first thing that I like to do is adjust the sound. Splice has a really cool feature that allows you to apply a sound edit to all of the video clips. And if your audio is pretty consistent, all you need to really do is adjust your volume levels. You get quite a bit of adjustment here. Be careful not to put your audio so high that it'll clip. What I normally do is put my phone volume up to about three quarters of the way and then get it to where it sounds good there. But again, consistent audio is more important than having perfect audio levels. But after you have adjusted your sound, now I like to trim. There's two ways to trim your clips. One is just to click and hold on the end of your footage and you can just scrub it over with your thumb and that'll shorten the clip up. Or you can click on the individual clip and tap the split option and that will split your media wherever the cursor is at. Then just tap on the part of the media that you don't want anymore and then hit delete and it's gone. This is actually a really quick way to edit and I did this for an entire year with two different cameras. So it's, it's a pretty fast workflow once you get used to it. Next is color adjustment. This is what I like to do after I trim my footage. Now on the free version, you only get the filters. You can't do individual adjustments, but it does give you quite a bit of filters and you can vary the strength of these filters. So just play around with that on your footage, get a piece of footage looking good, and then you can apply that filter to everything with the apply all option. If you have some footage that you want to overlay, it's really easy to get some good looking B-roll with Splice. You just hold your finger on the piece of media that you want to make an overlay and then you hold it up above your main timeline. Then you can just rearrange that footage in the order that you want it to be in and then resize it to cover your main track. And then you've got B-roll that easily. Splice also offers a lot of music. Now I have had quite a bit of this stuff come back for copyright on my other channels that I've used their music for, but if you're not worried about monetization, the copyright really doesn't matter. And they've got a lot of music for free that's not that bad. But once you're done editing, you just click export. Now to export 4K, you're gonna to have to have the paid version, but adjust your settings to where it's 1080 and then adjust your frame rate to the frame rate that you shot in and then export the media. I will say that this is where splice glitches so prepare to get your heart broken what i used to do on this editor when i used it a lot is build my video and sections and export them as separate pieces that way i didn't spend hours building something and then it wouldn't export also if you find a version that works i would turn your automatic updates off and just stick with that version for as long as possible but once you've exported your footage it's ready to go on youtube then build your thumbnail and you're ready to go I hope this helps somebody out there get started editing, video, and posting and creating. Let me know if you have any more questions. I'll see you guys later.